What's up YouTube, back again with another update video on my 40, one of my 40s. Uh, now I've been watching this, uh, this thing in my tank for a while and I just wanted to see what you guys thought. Um, I think I know what it is, but I might be wrong, I'm not 100% sure uh, because this is the first time I'm dealing with something like this. But uh, the thing I wanted to show you is this thing, um, I believe, a freshwater sponge in my cryptoparva or on my cryptoparva. Now I don't know if you uh, notice it or see it, but there is this, you know, this off-white, almost milky thing on my the base of my plant, uh, the cryptoparva. If I zoom in a tad bit closer, I am using a phone, so it might not focus perfectly, but let's see if I can do it for the camera. Or if this camera wants to, you know, work. I don't know if you can really see it, but there are little pores or little circular parts to this, um, I believe, sponge, and uh, and that, that's what that's what made me, made me think it was a sponge uh, after all. Um, after I watched this for you know a couple weeks, so it's been in my tank for a while. Now I want to zoom out a little bit. Um, now. Uh, yeah, like I said, I did watch this uh, for a while. I did see it uh, a couple weeks ago, and I thought it was, you know, the crypt melting uh, a little bit. So I didn't, you know, pay much attention to it because uh, crypt melt is a, is a common thing that happens with, uh, you know, the crypts. So, um, yeah, so I saw it, didn't think much of it. Uh, after about a week or so, um, it was still there. Took a quick, uh, a closer look. And um, I noticed the, that it had holes in it, uh, and which led me to believe that it might be a freshwater sponge. Um, now I did pan out so you don't stare at the thing the whole time. Look at the fish tank. Um, now I did Google uh, freshwater sponges. Didn't find that much information on freshwater sponges uh, itself. I know that I believe uh, the first freshwater sponge was discovered in an actual aquarium. Um, I might be wrong, but that's what I've read online, so uh, I know you can't really um, believe everything you read online, but I believe it was a, a published article that I pulled that information from. Um, now, I haven't seen anyone on YouTube with freshwater sponges in their tanks, but if you guys have any information about what you think this is, or maybe it might not be a sponge, it might be like a bacteria or fungus, um, I might be wrong, you know, if I am, then, you know, that's okay. But uh, yeah, if you guys have any idea uh, on what you think that this is, or that little thing on my cryptoparva is, uh, please comment or just send, shoot me a message. Uh, let's take a quick look at it one more time. Just to see show you folks there you are I think that's the best picture we're gonna get without a mic macro lens um, but yeah it's been on my plant for a couple weeks going on three weeks actually so yeah so if you guys uh, you know uh, have any idea what it is go ahead and uh, leave a comment below uh, thanks for watching see you guys next time